Hey, what do you know? It's 2020 and another thing that we all love and look forward to that signifies the changing of another season, it's canceled. 2020 just keeps on giving, and by that I mean just keeps on taking away. Disneyland announced that they were unable to commit to the months-long planning process for the candlelight ceremony without a clear understanding of when theme parks can reopen according to the state of California. California theme parks are still impatiently awaiting opening guidelines. You see friends, without a clear understanding of when theme parks can open here in California, there's no way that Disney could commit to doing this and it would be impossible for Disneyland to commit to months of planning without knowing when their opening date is and not even knowing what they need to do to earn their opening date. And it takes Disneyland months of planning to create the annual candlelight ceremony, which dates back to 1958 as a way for Walt Disney to show his gratitude to the people of Orange County and the surrounding communities that support Disneyland since 1958, man. I'm bracing myself because this holiday season, it's going to feel weird, real, real weird. The event requires a healthy supply of choir singers, musicians, event production crews to build the stage, put in the lighting to run the sound system, and one celebrity to read the story of Christmas. Past celebrity readers have included Cary Grant, John Wayne, Jimmy Stewart, Dick Van Dyke, Easy Rider, Thor, Darth Vader, the man who owns the Disneyland sign, John Stamos. And when I got to attend the event, we got Jennifer Goodwin. Oof. The event takes place on the steps in the stage in front of the Main Street train station. Normally it's the first weekend in December. They do two showings on two different nights. And as the lights on Main Street dim, the sound of over 600 choir singers can be heard as they slowly begin their march down Main Street to Town Square, where they fill the stage in front of the Main Street train station, performing to a town square filled with hundreds of seated community members. Now this seating is reserved seating and it's limited to a few hundred invited guests that include community members, civic leaders, members of the media, and Disneyland VIPs. Watching what I have to say is one of the most magical events that Disneyland produces. I'm not a religious guy, but I'm a big Christmas guy. And let me tell you, it is emotional with a capital emotional. But let's not put all of the blame on California because even if the park were open today, I believe that this is something that holiday season 2020 just isn't equipped to handle. An event like this could realistically never happen during COVID-19 pandemic times. Imagine hundreds of singers singing shoulder to shoulder and an A-list of Disneyland guests sitting shoulder to shoulder in the Disneyland VIP white folding chairs. No, you may not sit there. I know, I know, I know. You're standing and you're tired and no one's sitting there, but that chair is there in case someone important shows up. And friend, in this situation, you're not important. I know this because I've been the person that wanted to sit in that white chair. Hundreds of people being all around each other celebrating the holidays. Can't happen. And the event creates a total park congestion of uninvited guests trying to lurk into the event from their tippy toes. Many of these guests, the hardest of the holiday hardcore, get there very, very early to hold a spot. This is a big 2020 theme park no-no. They stand there in the limited standing room only section, trying to get a spot to see behind the seated VIP guest. Now it is possible if you're ever there during candlelight, you can see the procession pass you on Main Street. It's kind of like a parade of singers going by. And then once they pass, if you stand on Main Street, you can look down and you get to see the choir arranged as a beautiful human Christmas tree. Oh man, what I wouldn't give to have a human Christmas tree. But this private event celebrating Christmas in the heart, the main entryway of Disneyland during normal years creates all kinds of operational nightmares for the Disneyland cast members. From attraction operations to show scheduling to general crowd management, this kind of community-centered event right now, even if the park was open, just simply can't happen. And for all of the state of California haters and the Gavin Newsom bashers in the comments below, Walt Disney World that is currently open has canceled Epcot's candlelight procession 
and Mickey's very merry Christmas party. So even if our Disneyland was open, simply put, events like this just can't happen right now. So I say this to get our minds right, to get our expectations right. If we catch a lucky break and we hear at some point Disneyland might open up in October or November, show up prepared that a lot of the holiday traditions that we've come to love, that, that for many of us in Southern California or folks that travel out to the park that symbolize the holiday season is here, a lot of those things just won't be possible. But at this moment, I don't need a haunted mansion holiday. I don't need the World of Color Christmas show. I'll begrudgingly pass on It's a Small World holiday, which I adore and love. I would just be content this year, sitting on a bench in Main Street with a waffle cone dipped in particles of candy cane with two scoops, I'm gonna go for two scoops, of peppermint ice cream from the Gibson Grill while I listen to the Main Street holiday seasonal loop. Friends, I just hope we get into the park before the year ends. And if this happens, we all need to go with our expectations. This year, it's gonna be a little bit different, but I know one thing's for sure, none of us will take whatever we get for granted. Hey friends, let me know in the comments below, have you ever been lucky enough to see or be able to attend Disney's candlelight ceremony? And what are your expectations? Do you think we get to set foot on Main Street before the year ends? And if you can get into the park, what will you be grateful for? If you enjoyed this video, please give me a Christmas thumbs up and put a little gift in my stocking. Follow along, follow the channel and hit that jingle bell. And until the next time I see you, is it too early to say? Merry Christmas. Oh, it felt good. It felt good. It felt good. It felt good saying it. It really did. It's gonna be a sad Christmas, but it felt good saying it. That was, that was my first Merry Christmas.